Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode three of Intermediate Photoshop. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to remove unwanted items from your image. Now, I'm going to break this down into two different videos. This week's video, it's going to be relatively simple stuff. In the case of this image, I have this post over here and I have this little slice of sky. I think they're a little distracting, so I want to remove them from the image. And to tell you the truth, this is very easy to do because, like for instance where this post is, the background is pretty homogenous, it's blurry, so it's very easy for Photoshop to replace this post with pixels around it. And the same thing for this little slice of sky over here. What you'll find is there will be some instances where it's a little more difficult. You may have a branch hanging into the scene, but the background is very important. It's not blurred out like in this image. And in those cases, it will be more difficult to remove that object. And I'll cover that in the next video. So for this video, it's just to get you started. I'm going to show you two different methods to remove these items. I use them both. On some images, one will work better than the other. Uh, so that's why I want to show you them both. And the first method I'm going to show you is called Content Aware Fill. And to start off, all I'm going to do is duplicate my background, background layer by hitting Command-J. If you have a PC, hit Control-J, so you're working on a copied layer and you're not working on the original layer. Now, we need to make a selection. You could use any of the selection tools in Lightroom, but the neat thing about Content-Aware Fill is you don't need an exact selection. So we don't have to precisely select out this post or this slice of sky. We just need a very, very rough selection. So I'm going to use the lasso tool. And that's what I would usually use for most instances when I'm using Content Aware Fill. And what we're going to do is we're just going to select around the post. And you can see I'm not exact at all. I'm just really selecting the area all around this post. Now I want to do is I want to fill that selection in with the surrounding area that will get rid of this post. And to do that, go up to Edit, Fill. And a keyboard shortcut for this is Shift F5. If you have a Mac, you'd, ha you'd have to hold the Function key in along with that. So on a Mac, it's Function Shift F5. And when you do that, you'll see the Fill dialog box comes up. And what you want to do in this drop down here, make sure that you're using Content Aware. Color adaptation is checked, blending is normal, opacity is 100%, and then just click OK. And Photoshop does all the work. It looks at the surrounding pixels and does its best job of filling in this area with what is around it. Now we still have our selection. To get rid of our selection, if you have a Mac, hit Command D for deselect. If you have a PC, you'd hit Control D for deselect. Now, I mentioned I don't like this method as well or as much for this image. You could see we have this kind of jagged line of discoloration right here, so I don't really care for that. Hopefully the other method I'll show you in a second will, will work better. But let's get rid of this corner here. We're going to use the lasso tool, lasso tool as well, and we're just going to get our rough selection around the sky. Again, we're going to get our fill dialog by going up to edit, fill, use content aware, color adaptation is checked, normal mode, 100% opacity, and click OK. And you can see it filled it in. We'll hit Command D to deselect. That again is Control D. And you can see that's how we replace those two kind of distracting elements in the image using content aware fill. I didn't care for it as much. Now I do use Content Aware Fill most of the time when I need to replace something that is in my image that I don't want there. But in this case, I don't think it worked too great. There's better methods. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this layer. We're back to our original layer. And I'm going to duplicate it again by hitting Command J. Again, if you have a PC, it's Control J. And the next method I'm going to show you is using the Patch Tool. Keyboard shortcut for the patch tool is the J key. It's right here in this little cubby. And it, by default, you're going to have the spot healing brush showing. What you need to do is click on this and open it up. And you want the patch tool. It's the third tool down in that little cubby. And what you're going to do with the patch tool is, again, just make a rough selection. 
you don't need to use the lasso tool or any of the other um, selection tools in Photoshop. The patch tool is a two-part process. In the first part, it has a selection tool like active. So we just use the patch tool to do, again, a selection around our post here. Now we have a selection just like before. But you can see now the tool kind of changed. We have an arrow that's going diagonally up towards the top left-hand corner and then an arrow to the right. That's implying we're just going to drag this. They we're going to drag this selection somewhere. Now before I do that, I just want to go over some of the patch tool settings up here. Uh, we're going to use it's a new patch, so the first icon is selected. Now we have two different types of patches. We have normal and content aware. I, for the longest time, thought content aware should be the best method to use, but I found usually, in most cases, the normal method works best. If you use content aware, try it. You may find that it may work in some instances better. But in mo most cases, I found normal works fine. And you can see when you choose between the, those two drop down choices, uh, the other settings change over here. In normal mode, what you want to do is you want to have source clicked. You do not want transparent checked. You do not want to use a pattern. So just like don't turn that on. See how I click that and it put a pattern in there. So we don't want that. So we're going to back out of there by hitting um, Option Command Z because I have a Mac. If you have a PC, it would be Alt Control Z as in Zebra to, that will back you up a step. So we just want source. Don't want transparent checked. We're not going to do anything here. And we want our diffusion at 5. Now I mentioned that this tool now, the second part of the tool, the first part of the tool we make our selection. The second part of the tool we drag it somewhere. So I'm just going to drag it this way over to this part that is, you know, very, you know, similar to what I want over there. And then just let go of the left mouse button. And you could see that it replace the post. Now I'm going to deselect by hitting Command D. Again, that's Control D if you have a PC. And I think actually this worked a lot better than that previous method that I showed you. So let's do it over here. We still have our patch tool selected and we're going to make our little selection here. Now part two is we drag it. We're going to drag it somewhere that looks natural right there. And there is our replacement. We're going to hit Command D again to deselect. And there is our our repaired or I guess image. Uh, there is the original image and there is the replacement. So there's two different ways to replace unwanted things that might be in your image. Now granted I mentioned in this video this was very easy. These were easy to do. In a future video, we're going to do an image where it's a lot more difficult. We're going to remove a big branch that's sticking out into a scene that has a distinctive background, which is specifically a waterfall behind it. And, you know, the rocks and uh, foliage and stuff that is back behind there that is in perfect focus. And we don't, you know, have the luxury of having this blurred areas here that uh, to, I guess, uh, use to replace what we want taken out. So we're going to have to do a much better job or a much more precise job, let's put it that way, with that image. And you'll see that in our next video, episode four. So that's it for this episode. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.